All right. Hi, everybody. My name is Jason. Uh, thanks again for visiting the site. I'm here with my good friend Anthony, and we're going over cups and balls right now for a lesson today. Three cups and three balls. This is the oldest trick in magic. One ball for every cup. Uh, a ball goes on top of the cup or in the hand, and you can actually watch how it works. The first ball goes under the cup. The, uh, the second ball will do the exact same thing. will go under the cup. Just in case you're wondering, it does actually go under the cup. Uh, we'll do this a third time. You actually take the ball and place the ball under the cup. The third ball you take and you place that one also underneath the cup. You'll actually watch the ball vanish one at a time. You take the first ball, it'll disappear completely. See? I'll take the second ball and make the second ball disappear completely. See? So two balls have disappeared. In case you're wondering how that works, um, I'll leave one and just show you how that happens. You pretend to put the ball in your hand and then slip it under the cup. You actually pretend to, see? So the ball never really goes under the cup. Unless you place the ball under the cup, and it looks like that. If you should so choose to, you can move the ball over here, and it looks like that. So then they actually switch places. I'll show you that again. I'll take the ball and place the ball under the cup. Uh, that's what that looks like. One final time, watch very carefully. You'll actually see the three balls reappear one at a time. If I take the ball and place it on the cup, I can vanish it for you. Watch very carefully. Just like this. The ball will actually jump from that cup to the top cup. From the top cup, it will jump down to the bottom cup. That's the bottom cup. One, two, three, three. Hmm. Sometimes I miss. I'll tell you what, we'll start again, but we'll use that ball over there. See? There we go. And that's the one that we were talking about. If I take the ball and I add a cup, it's a lot harder to perform the effect, but it goes straight through the cup. If I were to add a cup and a ball, snap my fingers, the ball vanishes from the cup to the bottom to join its buddy. I'll take these two and put them over here. We'll just use this one. Watch very carefully now. I know what you're thinking. Sometimes it appears on the bottom invisibly. Sometimes it appears on top. You never really move the ball. If you want to, you actually have to get it to disappear. In regular speed, the ball will join its friends over there.